Hello, denizens. Welcome back to Ballroom. Or Ballroom. However you pronounce it. Uh, where we left off, we had just done the introductions. We talked to Grandpa. We'd uh, learned a little bit about the dark woods that we're in. And we found out that it was this evil place that was so terrible that other people wouldn't enter in, so we were relatively safe here. But some bad things have been happening recently, such as our house just burned partially down, and we don't know why. There's no logical reason why there should have been a fire there. We found out another family has gone missing. And uh, these mysterious things have started to happen, and Grandpa is all concerned because it turns out that they are from a time, from before you actually came into this dark woods area. They were from outside, and they fled here from the events that were happening outside. Now, I have recreated my character. I've, I've chosen the same choices that we made during character creation in the last video, but I did choose to lower the rate at which I drop in hunger and thirst. The reason for that is I was reading on the forum and it was so bad that people were dying reading the introductory text with Grandpa because they just starved him to death or they ran out of, or they, I guess, dehydrated. And, I mean, that's just ridiculous. It was something like, in the course of two hours, you would you would starve to death. Uh, I have chosen the same difficulty level, but I have chosen to drop the amount of uh, hunger and thirst that we generate. So we should have a little bit of an easier time just going through the game, because that's the part of the game that I'm interested in. Hmm. Um... I'm interested in just playing the game and seeing what the game has to offer and enjoying it, and less about constantly feeding and drinking, and because that's just not going to make for interesting video if I'm doing that constantly. We want to do that some, but uh, we, we, we do want to actually play the game and, and not just spend all our time farming. I've been raiding our house. Uh, I feel pretty safe in raiding this house because it's our house, but um, I did just get some notes, and I want to see what those are. So, let's see, we got an item list. Uh, that's really hard. Oh, very nifty. Oh, this is something more games should do. The two mighty adventurers, although Dudley is not so mighty. Our treasure so far, which we collected when exploring the strange ruins. A strange ring. I have been wearing it since. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, you're in a place where horrible things have happened. Just absolutely horrible things, and you fled here because things outside are terrible, and you're, you're in this little refuge and in this place where something that is so unspeakable, nobody will tell you what it is happened, and you decide to put on a strange ring you found in ruins in the center of that area. Fantastic. An old coin. Okay, I saw that actually earlier. Uh, one strange Thaler. Apparently Thaler is the type of money. I saw it up here in my inventory earlier. A short sword in great condition. I carry it on odd weeks, and Dudley carries it on even weeks. Apparently it's our week. It is in great condition. Durability there is maxed out. It deals 110 to 150 damage to the target. Okay, apparently there's damage scaling in this. That Wow, that's a lot. Of, usually you see like 2 to 4 damage. Anyway, a weird looking potion with a larva in it. We hid this one up near our house between the rocks so Grandpa won't find it. Okay, you can't see my face right now, but I've got it buried in my hands. Oh, you're in a ruins, terrible things have happened, and you found a potion with a larva in it. Uh, well, it's good that you didn't drink it. I mean, that would obviously be the worst case, but, uh, ooh, nails in the trough. What were nails doing in the trough? All right. Uh, it's worth mentioning again, for those of you just joining us, that movement in this game, it moves toward where your cursor is. You can see what direction you'll move in, uh, but it is not, like, click to move. It, it, it's click and hold, so you can see you can kind of walk in a circle there, but it's not because I'm, I'm moving to my cursor, it's just because I'm moving in that direction. Got some life herbs. Herbs. Yes, I know it's herbs. I just make fun of it. Okay, so I'm just raiding around the house, just seeing what I can find, because I don't know what I need in this game. I know I don't actually have alchemy, but I feel like um, we might be able to learn it soon. If you look at our character sheet, we do have five learning points, which we can use to learn new skills. Not sure which skills we're going to want to learn. Uh, some of these other skills look very useful, but eh, it might be worth doing. I also kind of want to learn the arcane arts, because I want to see what magic is like in this game. Uh, I guess this is where we put the larva. I'm guessing that notice from us. 
Yep, transform into Larva Potion. Okay, this is probably a terrible idea. Let's quick save it and see what this does, because why not? Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, it, it does it does uh, disappear over time. Oh gosh. I wonder what happens if I go visit Grandpa now. Hold on, Grandpa, I'm coming. Now, I wonder if I need this potion for later. I might need it for something. Um... Drinking potions will rapidly get you overdosed. And when you're overdosed, you can't drink anymore. Now, it's nice to see that our dog doesn't attack us. Let's see what happens if we talk to Grandpa now. Oh, don't raid him. Talk to him. Okay, apparently we can't. But he has no problems with us. We'll just we'll just sit here. Okay, I'm gonna load it just because I just wanted to see that. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, let's go see if we can like chop down a tree. <laughs> Okay, so I think we just broke the game a little bit. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that. Uh, let's mine some rocks. Let's uh, pick some herbs, you know. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be able to do this. I'm going to load the game here. Uh, and we, we may want this for some reason later. Well, I guess we could actually see what happens. See, let's see what happens if uh, after this time we turn into anything else. Let's just... Um, I think we can press spacebar and pass time. No, it's real time. Okay, let's just, let's just see what happens. We may turn into some... What, on Earth? Okay, I pick up every plant. Okay. Let's just see if we turn into anything interesting, and while we're out here, we'll just explore. What? Oh, here's the graveyard. Okay, and there's spiders in there. Oh, it looks like they're stealthed. So we have some stealth enemies. Okay. Uh, I wonder if they detect... Something is moving in my backpack. A hungry bug. Eating everything. Quick to damage. Weird. This is weird. Okay, uh, that didn't seem to do anything. I didn't get, uh, as far as I know, I didn't get anything out of doing that. Uh, I don't think I have any quests or anything. Let's see. Uh, journal. No, I don't think we got anything out of that. I'm going to load it just in case we need that potion for later. I, I honestly don't know. But that told us where there's some combat. So we can go try out some combat. And I think it'll probably be worth uh, just going in and seeing what what that's like early before we start talking to all these town people. Because I have a feeling, uh, I looked at the map earlier, and it looks like there's a lot of houses up in here. So uh, we'll probably have a lot of people to talk to, and, and that'll take a while. So let's go see what combat is like. We'll head down here to these spiders. Oh yeah, we're going to get those again. What is this? You can zoom in in this game. It looks like a twig or a torch. Um, let's see if he died from spiders. Now, okay, I can see some of those. How would I engage in combat? Let's see. If I, Can I shoot them? It's too far away to shoot. Can I shoot them like this? Something is in the way. Let's try again. Something is in the way. Okay, so I can't easily shoot them. Okay, we just entered into combat. Okay, so I just need to get close enough, I guess. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to order my dog over here to attack them. Target is barely visible. Okay, but he, he can see it. Now, should I run so I can use archery? Well, let's see what abilities we have. We have blinding shot. Blends the target for four turns. Okay, we'll want to do that when he gets close. We can stun. Uh, do these use any sort of mana or anything? No, they're just on cooldown. Okay. I can heal my pet. And I can enrage him by increasing his damage. Okay. We also have Wolf Howl. Frightens the target. And we can increase dodge of our pet. Okay, we can also camp. All right, well, let's just see if we can shoot this guy. Miss. Let's try again. Yes, we can. Okay, let's stun him. Okay, that's right. If I click on it... Okay, so this selects it as a melee skill, and the melee is left click. I missed, but it's still on cooldown. Interesting to note. Uh, we still have plenty of health. Let's just try to melee this guy. We're now webbed. Let's see what that does to us. Okay, I can't move. Alright. No big deal. Yet. 
Let's see if we can blind the guy. I don't know if ranged combat is any weaker at close range or not. Uh, it may be that uh, you have some sort of miss penalty. I'm stuck, so I'm going to have to shoot this guy. But I can sh So even though I'm webbed, I can still shoot the guy. Now, I have noticed that uh, archery in this game is, is restricted in arrow count. But we'll just do this again. Did I get hit critically? I don't know. Let's continue to whack this guy. Okay, wow. Okay, so that critical hit. Uh, I guess I should have looked over here. We could see. Uh, yeah, we did a lot of damage to him. Okay, so we've been clearing out. Some Aha! Nice. Okay, so you can't see all of them even when they are. Uh, when you're close to them. I'm paralyzed. You'd think my guy would go over there and attack him. Okay, so let's. Uh, can we f frighten them, reducing their damage? It's one target. Let's see if I can s stun this guy. No, that's right. I got to do it this way. Click that. Left click on this guy. Did that stun him? Yes, he is stunned. So he can't... Okay, so he can't act right now. So I could try to get this guy out of the way and put some range in between me and... Uh, that other spider, because I'm close to dead. We may die, folks. Do we have any healing? Uh, let's see in here. This may take time. I don't know if you can eat to heal, and uh, this isn't a lot of health. Um, I mean, yeah, five health. Uh, that's not a lot. Um, let's see if we can... How close is he? He has 11 hit points left. Let's hope my dog uh, succeeds in whacking him, or I do. Now, how do I how do I move? I'm not stuck. Can I move this way? Yes. Move around my dog. Let my dog continue to wail on him for a while. It seems that we're the same speed as the spider. I'm guessing. Okay, so now um, we have a problem. We're not regenerating health. Let's see if we can run somewhere. Help me! Edmund! Winnie! I have a spider out here. Okay, I am slightly faster. I am very, very slightly faster. Let's see if we can blind him. Did we succeed? Yes, he is blind blinded. Let's go ahead and stun him. He, he is also stunned. Let's see now if I can get to where I can regenerate. I did notice that if you're over 100%, you start regenerating. So let's go ahead and quickly find something that will restore her hunger or thirst. This does 45 hunger. I think that's going to get us there the fastest. That way we slowly start regenerating, although I don't know how much it actually is. Will that be enough? No. I would have to eat twice. Okay, therefore, I think it's probably better to go ahead and do damage. Let's enrage him. Uh, how do we how do we cast that? Right click to use. Um, okay, so he'll automatically use it if it's his ability. Okay, so let's go ahead and just whack this guy. Ooh, nice. I don't know how you. Okay, there we go. Is that okay? And he's going to be stunned for one more turn. He's now on the run, I think. Oh, we died. Okay, I can't help but notice up here there is a bear. That's always good news right outside your town, especially when there's beehives over here. But what I thought we might do is try that combat again and do it a little bit smarter this time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go close to it. And then I'm going to send in Jax, my wolf. Yes, I know this is a horrible thing to do, but I have a pet heal here. Uh, which one is it? This one. And it requires some mana, but mana regenerates. So, I don't have a heal spell that I can use on me, but I have a heal spell that I can use on him. And he's reasonably tanky, but I can also direct him around and potentially uh, do some long-range combat uh, as well. So, let's send him in. See if he comes under attack. I'm going to laugh if he doesn't. Really? They're just going to annoy each other? 
You. Attack? Oh, he can't see the spider. And apparently the spider does not care about a dog. Okay, well, um... What's this back here? What kind of spider is that? Black forest spider. All right, well, one spider is better than apparently three. Although, again, I can only see two of them. I don't know where that third one came from. But let's come over here and see if we can take on the one spider. Something is moving in my backpack. Okay, so I have that annoying little bug thing again, which is eating all of our food. Let's tell Jax to go whack it. Okay, he can see it now, so let's just destroy that bug. Okay. Doesn't take any combat turns. Okay, well, there's no point in blinding him yet. Let's just straight up shoot him. And that number beside the the cursor is the number of arrows I have. All right, I don't really want him to hurt Jax. And let's go ahead and use this skill. Put it on cooldown so that we can use it again soon. All right, so he ignored him and he came after me. He is now stunned. So let's just wail on the guy. I am webbed again. Okay, so I can't move. That's not a big deal. Jax is still fine. Let's go ahead and tell him to increase his damage. And we'll continue wailing on the guy. I'm doing a bad job of hitting him, but our our dog is doing just fine. And we're fine. Let's see what loot we get for killing a spider. We get a spider eye, which is good for mana regeneration. All right. And we got a black spider leg, which is weapon critical chance. All right. Maybe we can sell that. I don't know how much of that crafting we can really use, because we, we don't have crafting skills yet. Will that still be valuable by the time we do? I don't really know. But I don't really know where I'm going either. Um, it's worth noting that. I'm just kind of wandering around town. Uh, just seeing what there is to do around town, and then... Uh, ooh. That's not a happy wolf. Okay, now what is that skill up there? What is that? Uh-oh. I saw 2,000 and some. I think it's a... I can't pause the game either, I don't think. There's no way no way that I know I have to pause. Okay, that's that's not a pause. Um, okay, I just had a look. There doesn't appear to be a pause skill. That definitely looks like it's hostile. Where'd it go? Spirit. Okay, it's, it's invisible. It's got a lot of hit points and immune to... I can attack it, but I don't know if it's actually evil. Oh, wow, that is evil. You cannot see that there. Unless it moves. Yeah. All right, well, rather than tangle with things and die again, speaking of which, I should probably quick save. Let's go ahead and start talking to some of the townspeople. We've seen some basic combat. Nothing too amazing yet, but I don't really have all that many skills. Oh, yeah, I got this other piece of paper I need to look at. Uh, item list. Oh, no, we did look at this one. This one was the one that told us about the larva. Um, time we spent together. I often found myself thinking of the time we spent together when we were young. Do you remember the time when we found a giant beetle and you were so scared that you ran home? I'm looking forward to your next letter. Edith. Aww. Sounds like we had a girlfriend, although it sounds like we possibly lost her and we held on to her note. We'll see. No wonder I haven't been able to find the herbs. I was looking in the wrong place, or to be more specific, the wrong time. A number of plants are only visible at night. I think I'm going to lose a lot of sleep in the coming days. Yeah, okay, so that probably implies that right here is a pretty important plant that only grows at night. Probably. Or possibly maybe around this crystal. I noticed there's a lot of life, life plants and life herbs around this crystal. Slow berries. Let's go ahead and gather them. We, they do give us some benefit even though we don't have alchemy. And that might be a skill that we choose to learn relatively early on. I don't know if these plants regenerate, by the way. That's a red barrel that I can attack. I wonder if I can shoot it. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Every game needs red barrels. All right, so let's go over here and talk to Winnie and Edmund. Uh, I believe these, uh, in talking with Grandpa, I believe these are some of our family friends. Uh, I don't believe they're just random people, although they are to me. Let's talk to Winnie. Winnie and Edmund celebrated their 50th anniversary a few months ago. Winnie is a great cook, but nowadays she can't even put carrot soup on the table because their pockets won't allow even the essential things of life. When I was young, they looked after me when Grandpa was away. They are like family to me. Okay, so uh, let's give them the meat that we got. 
Thank you, my boy. I don't know what we would do without you. Thank the gods for this long life they gave us. Together we are almost 180 years old, you know. Each day you grow stronger. We saw you growing up. Your fa grandfather raised you to be a decent, honest man. What do we owe you, my boy? Okay, so apparently they're 90 years old, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's ish. Uh, I'm hoping that doesn't mean that, that each of them are 180 years old, because that would be pretty horrifying. I, I'm, the idea of a 180-year-old couple is just horrifying. Uh, since these people are fairly poor, from what I'm gathering, let's just say that they don't owe, owe us anything. Uh, we might get more experience or something for that. Thank you, son. The meat looks... I guess I should be using an old lady voice for this, but... The meat looks delicious. We should make a good goulash tomorrow. All right, let's ask, give, ask about help. Uh, apparently we can uh, help them with their bees. I'm guessing it has something to do with that bear up there that's, you know, hanging out near their beehives. All the bees are dead. Some disease must be killing... No, it's a bear. Can you give us a few bees so we can start a new colony? Colony collapse disorder. Uh, of course I'll help. Uh, journal. Okay, we got a new quest. See if she can teach us some recipes. Okay, good to note that recipes you can't learn unless you have the appropriate uh, crafting skill. As opposed to just not being able to use the recipes. You can't even learn them unless you have the right recipes. So this provides the interesting potential where we might have the potential to learn a skill or a recipe in the game, not have the skill at that time, and then be denied access to that area later and never be able to go back and learn these skills or these recipes. That's a little bit... Uh, Potentially a, a problem. Let's see what they sell. Empty honey jars. Nothing of interest. Let's see if they have any wooden nails, though, because Grandpa wants us to... I don't know if I can take from them. Let's save it. And let's see if we can. Let's see if we can we can Skyrim this up. Yeah, they didn't mind us taking that at all. Alright. Let's see if they have any wood around. Um, mug? Sure. Uh, the reason being, um, we need to repair the house. And why not, why chop trees down if we can just rob the neighbors, you know? 